everyone. Get your frescas ready. Because this stream is about to get fresh. We're currently listening to Sorcerer Striker. I never I never even heard of this game before. Good soundtrack though. By Etsuhiro Motoyama. Exactly how you pronounce the name too. Alright, um, hey. Check out this freaking magazine cover. I'm pretty sure this is Simon Beisley. He's a, he's a rad artist. Did a lot of stuff in the 90s and maybe the 80s as well, but he just... Yeah, actually, he was definitely in the 80s because I think he did a lot of heavy metal magazine covers, but holy crap, Weapon Lord got Simon Beisley to do, like, character designs. Look at this thing. That thing is outrageous. That guy has muscles on top of his muscles. And I ain't hating it. You know, everyone always uh, gets upset when women are, you know, drawn to be absurdly endowed in video games. But I don't know. That's just that's just the world I want to live in, where I look like this guy and girls look like the witch from the Dragon's Crown. That's just uh, that's the fantasy. That's the fun. I mean, hey, you let me have a character creator, I will make every body type in the universe. Um, that's just how I like to roll just me. All right. Um, all right, let's get this show started. Hey, we got two concurrent viewers. One of them might be me though. So one viewer. Welcome. Hi. Check it out. I got a new effect. Don't mess with me. I'm using a vocoder on my voice so I can sound like a robot. Pretty sure this is how they did some of the voices in like Mass Effect. S the sound is tougher. Trevor. Anyways, that's fun. That's some fun stuff. That's what it sounds like when a robot drinks Fresca. Confirmed. Um, hi everyone. Hi. I mean, most people probably end up watching this in the archive, so. What's he taking so long for? Because I'm just letting people filter in. Just filter in. Stream in. Stream in. Stream in. Let's do a quick peek. Everyone's... Oh, yeah, everyone's talking about it. On on Twitter, just everyone is lighting up. He's starting a stream. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, David Baxter left my post, so... We're halfway there. Halfway to the millions and millions of viewers that, uh, that this stream truly deserves. All right, let's get real. Let's get, let's get pretty real. real. Like real world real. real. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, hey, well, hey. Hi, hi everyone. Hi. We're going to start reading episode... Three. I did the first one kind of out of order, but this is the third one total. Reading Game Pro magazines from 1995. So last night we did uh, January. We're going to do February tonight. And I tested three games out before the stream real quick. So they might fail on me still, but three games I can play that are featured in this issue. Also, uh, if anyone, if the audio is okay, let me know. It's too loud, too quiet. Uh, if it's fuzzy sounding? I don't know. I, I left everything as it was yesterday, so hopefully it sounds the same. Let's dive in. Uh, which one do we want? This one. Boom. Look at this MF and artwork. Do I have to... Jesus. Jesus. Dig it. It's, uh, it's kind of surprising that Weapon Lord didn't do better than it did because it certainly was well it looked good <laughs> it plays not necessarily as good but it looks cool um so i'm gonna maybe turn down the music just to skewch is that all right everyone is this killing your buzz now that the music is quiet sorcerer striker what we're listening to all right let's dive in tetris and dr mario on one cart party. It's getting on out of control. Call the fire department. This one's getting out of control. 
Did they play at the same time? Oh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Is that what we're looking at right here? Did they play at the same time? All right. Again, with this ad, I still don't know what it is. I think it's for Sega CD games because Lodestar is a Sega CD thing. Okay, games available on Sega CD and PC CD ROM. Weird advertisement. Scary Larry. I wonder who it actually was. I wonder if he's still in the industry. Okay, they know what they're doing now. Get the Game Genie codes right up at the front. Because I rented Contra Hardcore. Um, probably just because of these. Almost Invincible. Game Gear. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but we got some silly games to play on this stream. So let's not dilly-dally. I want to make up for all this dilly-dally. Oh, yeah, by the way. I have to... I have to completely nuke this or else my, my voice has too much latency. There we go. And why don't we nuke this too? Or why don't we test it first? Hello! Hello. We don't need that on. And do we even need this? Guys, do we need to sound like I'm in a cavern? No. But for some reason I can't just di disable them. I have to literally turn them off. Or else, uh, or else, there's big trouble. Okay. What the hell are we doing? A sentinel? I always thought Master Mold was kind of a cool character in the cartoon. He had that low voice. Kind of cool. Actually sounded exactly like the voice I was doing at the start of the stream. Man, they, is Showdown actually spelled S-H-O down this whole time? Have I been looking at it wrong? I guess so. Well, why don't you tell the rest of us? Eh, never really got into the Lemmings games. Am I wrong? Anyone? What do you think? Didn't really get into it. It's like a PC thing. You had to be on PC to play Lemmings. Eh, I didn't have a PC. I had a Sega Genesis. That Fresca's really doing a number on me. I'll write them a letter. Angry letter. I'm trying to stream here. I thought this game looked cool back in the day. Metalhead! Because it looks like it's trying to simulate an actual city. That was all I needed. That was all I wanted back in the day. Games that tried to make real world. Like, recreate the real world. That's all I wanted. Look at this grumpy Gus. Whoops, I'm all the way zoomed in. How unprofessional. I'm a girl wishing that there were more video games starring women. I know about Super Metroid, Chun-Li, Sonya, and the rest uh, of the fictional characters. But what about some real-life heroines? Hmm. There could be great RPGs based on the amazing lives of Queen Victoria, Cleopatra, and Catherine the Great. I don't know. I don't know about that. They'd probably stick with fictional characters. Are you going to do a game about Queen Elizabeth? <laughs> you guys ever notice that Scott Thompson from uh, uh, Kids in the Hall looks exactly like Queen Elizabeth? We have Queen Elizabeth on a lot of our currency in Canada. It always just looks like Scott Thompson is on my currency. Where are all the women? All sorts of games remind me puzzles of the... Well, diversity, you'd think there'd be some games out there to please every palette. But there's still something missing. Female heroes. Why leave out the women? Here's why. Money. Uh, video games have always been a guy thing. Wow, ooh, taboo. It's the beginning. Games have been designed by guys, for guys. That's probably true for a long time. Nintendo and Sega aimed their game machines at guys in their teens. Uh, as a guy in his teen back in those days. Can confirm. Um, which encouraged the companies to make more games for guys, starring guys. Uh, now that video games are big business, they're, wow, even, they bring in around 7 billion each year, even back then. Video game companies, uh, are set in their ways. Why mess with success? Here's why. Money. If girls like Gina Gallego, is she the one that wrote in the letter? Okay. Uh, started buying and renting video games at the same rate as guys. Ooh, this is spicy then the multi-billion dollar industry could double. That's true, and it did. Some game manufacturers uh, blah, 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 have begun researching potential female game market, but these games are, you know, I still don't know. I don't think there's like a game market for girls. Um, 
they've maybe made regular games like more including of girl characters, but kind of at a weird way. Like, I don't know. If you're going to recreate a World War II video game and you add female characters into it, I mean, this just could be a spicy take, but I think that takes away from the realism. But obviously the realism is already uh, annihilated. But you got to play, you got to, like, there's got to be a little give and take with some of the realism, but I don't know why you would need to play as an avatar that looked like you. Like, every single time I make a character in a video game, I give him the Picard horseshoe haircut. Um... And he's always got gray hair. It's just how I like making characters. <laughs> I could be a rare exception, so why not? Uh, this is weird that they were talking about it all the way back here, though. I guess we're at a good place in video games. I think they are tipping, though. I think, like, they they dragged us from this, this attitude to kind of, like, a, a more center attitude. But I think it's just toppling over. And I think we're, we're going to be at a point now where games are, like, really silly. Like, no realism. Uh, but uh, whatever. I don't play much games anyway, so whoever's whoever's playing the games, enjoy the games that are getting made. I still play old games more than new games. Here's kind of a funny one. Movie moments. In your October issue, you showed photos of the Street Fighter movie. Why is Saget's eye patch on the wrong eye? Can you explain yourselves, Street Fighter the movie? Well, guess what, uh, Derek Ostrander? Uh, in the video game, Saget's eye patch changes side or. If you're on two-player side or one-player side, it's always on the whatever side. Like, the, the sprite is just swapped. They didn't switch it. So, take a walk. Um, what do we got here? Anything else fun? Hey, there's no RPGs available on the Jag. And none are due anytime soon. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You shouldn't have bought a Jaguar. What were you doing? What, victim blamer? I don't know. You had that much money to burn, and the Jaguar was the one that came on, you know, your radar? Stop it, Hauser. Cats meow. Making it difficult. I thought this was a pretty cool drawing back in the day. Some kid did, like, half robot Ryu. 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 Whatever you want to say. This one, too. It's, uh... I remember being pretty impressed by these. These were... I'd look at these all the time. Oh, I get it. They're all the claw guys. That's clever. That's a clever guy. Remember, uh, Tasmania? Stop it, Hauser. What a bad boy. This cat has no respect for my authority. Alright. Enough is enough! Metal Morph! Metal Morph Assist! Looks like a pretty hardcore game. Face. Destiny. Hey everyone. Controversial opinion here. Star Wars not really doing a lot for me. Outside of being uh, 80s and 70s timepiece. Uh, yeah. Uh, especially the extended universe. I liked the Anakin Skywalker number two and three movies. Those were okay, but they're weird to watch now. I, I mean, I haven't seen them since the theater. Never does it for me. More of a Star Trek guy. My Trekkies out there know what I'm talking about. And even then, I only like a very small vertical slice of Star Trek. Next Gen, DS9, maybe some of the video games. Look at this. Hot at arcades. Man, they were just going to town on sprites back in the day. He's good. He's good. These are good looking sprites. Juggernaut. Look at this. You guys remember that cartoon? And there were times I literally woke up. I got out of bed before my eyes were open. I was so excited to go out and watch uh, X-Men, the cartoon. Because I didn't want to miss it. It was on at like 8.30 in the morning or something. Here we go. Hot in the arcades is right. Although, this came out in 94, so I'm surprised it's still hot. First time killer like test... Slowly trickling the arcades and not a minute soon. The game looks hot. Oh, I guess it wasn't out till 95. I always thought it was 94. The game is hot. Uh, check out uh, Rad Plays. I do a whole episode where I go through Killer Instinct and reminisce. Um, well, here we are. The cover feature, Weapon Lord. Look at this art, man. I don't know if this is Simon Bisley. Maybe it is. Usually he does a little more. Like he does that. Ooh. Um, I do remember this issue. I don't know why I never rented Weapon Lord, though. Because they, they really pushed it here. So I think the big thing with this game is that you have two attack 
like four attack moves, but I think they're like swing to the left, swing to the right. And so depending on what side you're on, the uh, weapons are different. I, uh, I've been testing it out. Uh, surprise. This is the first game we're going to play on the stream. Uh, I'm just getting my ass kicked in this. My ace kicked. Um, in my tests. I'm pretty sure Simon Bisley must have done this art, though. Like, the art for the game. Did they mention it anywhere? I'm just enjoying the artwork here. I remember this. They said this is a uh, a character that didn't make it in the actual game. It's like two goblins standing on top of each other. I thought that was nice. I always thought that was cool. Game Pro had that insight. This could have been in the game, but it wasn't. Ah, Weapon Lord. Simon Bisley. Yeah. Bisley? Bisley? I don't know. Namco bought in, brought in some hired muscle to help promote the game. Simon Bisley is a comic book artist. For series such as the original Lobo, you know what else he did is one called Melting Pot. Uh, my brother got, it was funny, we'd see our dad uh, for Christmas and summer because he lived in a different province. So we would go there for like three weeks at a time. And uh, he would always just get us, he, he must have been going to like some comic book store or something. And he would just buy us comics that were way too mature for us at the time. It was like, hey, happy birthday. Bam, here's Melting Pot. And it just had a bunch of art from Simon Bisley in it that was just crazy looking. But crazy in the way that the 90s was... 90s was all about, like, shocking you with, with crazy stuff. Oh, how, how much more detail and, and dark. How dark can everything try and be an edgy... Like, you guys think about Terminator 2. Like, that was the start of it. Like, 1992 or 1, whenever it was. And uh, John Connor's character is just so in your face. And, like, fourth wall aware. Breaking the fourth wall. Not the fourth wall, but, like... I don't know what the word is, but you know how he'd always say, like, we're not going to make it, are we? It is in your nature to destroy yourself. And he's like, yeah, major bummer, eh? Like, that's so aware of the situation. Major bummer, eh? Um, but yeah, this Melting Pot comic had naked ladies in it, violence. <laughs> it's crazy. I'd recommend checking it out if you, ever, if you ever can. So why don't we see what the fuss was about? I'm going to play Dragon Lord on the Super... Or not Dragon Lord, Weapon Lord. Dragon Lord, probably a game. I don't know. We're going to play it on the SNES. So, can I pull this off without it looking awful? Hey, everyone. The 90s. Fill up your, your fountain soda cup with a delicious fresco. Sponsors of this uh, live stream slash podcast, if you watch it in the archive. All right. Alright, let's get it going. Auto saving. Oops, snapshot. The suspense. Too raw. Alright, I guess I have to load the game again. Recent games. Weapon Lord. Here we go. Uh, this is, I think the soundtrack has to be way better on this Super Nintendo version than the Sega version because they make use of like low register chants and stuff like stuff you'd hear in um, uh, Dragonborn what the heck is it Oblivion uh, Skyrim Malaysia Zord Dorn Nevada let me, uh, if anyone's actually in the chat. Game audio okay? Should it be louder? Gentile. It was foretold. Okay, so we're reading this Game Pro issue, and it's saying, oh, that's definitely Simon Bisley. Maybe, you know, this is maybe shameful, but I need to turn it on to easy mode or something. I just can't even make... Oh, that's the problem. I'm on... Okay, they're being too cute here. Um, adventurer difficulty. I guess. Spirit of a demon enters his body. He's reborn, rising from the dead. The challenge is the residing of the war king duel. All right, we don't care. Let's get core out there. That's 
Good art. Alright, let's see if I can actually beat her. She's just been savaging me. Doesn't help that I, I can't do a single special move. Yeah, there's like a weird deliberate pace to the attacks. See, she can do all kinds of rad stuff. I can't do anything. What do you got, Core? Do something. Alright, is there like double tap? Half circle? Oh, she smashed. There we go. Oh, you see that sick combo? Oh, come on, air juggle. Get your ass in gear, Core. 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 Not bad. You see, like, everything about the, the presentation of this game is fantastic. The sound effects are awesome. Listen to the sword clangs. Oh. But the gameplay was just trying to be a little too... Uh, like, it's slow and methodical, but it doesn't feel like there's a rhyme or reason. Okay, I can't lose on adventure or difficulty. Okay, am I still in? Ah, she smashed me. On adventure or difficulty. And why does she have electrical powers? Why don't I have that? <laughs> this is serious here. Alright. Giving her the business on this round. Yeah. I'm the baddest warrior in the world. I think my kick should do more. It should break her block or something. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she brought it back pretty good here. Come on, Cord. Do your thing. No. Oh, Lordy. We're tied up. Oh, you can change stance too. That changes things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Skimmed her eyebrows off on that one. What the hell? Come on, Cork, get your ass up. <laughs> Maybe Cork is just the worst character in the game, and I keep picking him. I have this policy. Oh, Jesus, you have to pick Cork again. All right, we'll try one more round. Win or lose. Oh, I swear her moves are doing like twice as much damage as my moves. Look at my sword. Hey. Oh, she's getting lucky. All right, I'm in a bad way here. Get out of the corner, cord. Okay. Moment of truth here. Separate the boys from the men. Yeah. Give me the F out of the corner. What the hell? You have way better moves than I have. It's just faster. I guess that's it. You, you want to be... You want to win? You got to be the faster character. The Mata wins. Devada, I'm sick of your attitude at this point. What? No! <laughs> this is slaughtering. What, you got air blocks? That's crazy. Whoa, I finally did a special move. Alright, is that a charge? 
Is he a charge character? I mean, it would help if I knew some of the damn guy's special move. No, 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 no. Like... Is this like a back back game? Back forward? Oh, Jesus! Alright. For all the marbles. Well, that's Weapon Lord, everyone. It's a game I want. I want to be better than it is. Um. They were trying something. I appreciate that they tried something, but uh, I don't think it... I don't believe it necessarily did what they wanted it to. Because, like, look, it has a ton of animation and, and neat stuff. What does it say about... Does it say anything about it? Redefining the genre early on. God of War's relationship with Namco... Part of Weapon Lord will be a gameplay system that seeks to change and redefine many of the basic gameplay elements common found in the lineup of fighters. Example, instead of giving players only one way to block an opponent's attack, Weapon Lord will provide three ways. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's definitely not something you can pick up and be like, Street Fighter? SNK? Weapon Lord's gameplay system will be more accurately as will more accurately assess damage from weapon collisions. When weapons collide, instead of both players taking damage from weapons coil with a huge shower of sparks. That's true. Um, thrust block. Uh, staggering variety of exciting things. Uh, uh, fighting game with well over 10. And moves per character. It doesn't really say what the heck's going on. Rotoscope texture mapped? Polygon based goblety goop graphics? Accurate. Um, okay. This doesn't really say what what I should be doing. What I did wrong. I just sucked at it. Not a normal fighting game. I want it. I want to know. I just don't have time. Moving on. NBA Jam TE. Now that's a hell of a soundtrack. Superhero games. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. I think it's a bad game. I didn't enjoy playing it when I tried it. They gave it a good score. Psylocke has it going on, am I right? Uh, games are only divide, designed for boys. Yeah, probably. But why you gotta... Why you gotta be all upset? Psylocke's a cool character, too. He's an assassin. Wolverine, Adamantium Rage. A new game? Different game? I always remember that. The X-Men game for... Uh, Sega Genesis, the one that was like... Hey, I know you woke up early just to come watch X-Men the cartoon, but now we got an X-Men Sega Genesis game. Like, oh, I gotta play that game. And then uh, you get it, and Wolverine had a meter for how much you could use his claws. That's a bad call. That's like a classic call. They're like, oh, well, games? Here's the gameplay cycle. You have a special move, and you can only use it so many times, and then blah, blah, blah. Like, no, not with Wolverine. His special move is his all-the-time move. That's what makes him cool. Gave it a good rating, though. Holy smoke. Uh, apparently, they hated the tick. That was all awesome, too. You'd, you'd get up and you'd watch X-Men, which was like the serious comic book show, and then you'd watch the tick, which was the parody of a comic book show, and they did such a good job. So fresh. Jeez, the X-Men everywhere. What is this? On Game Gear. that say the game gear version of x-men got a better score than the tick did mm. you know you effed up bad when time cop i'll watch time cop any day um great set design in that show by the way i like this uh future apartment and a future mullet um death and return of superman on sec genesis look at genesis games always have this look to them in the screenshots, like this weird bluey green combo. I don't know about that. It looks, doesn't look good. And that's coming from a Sega Genesis guy. Uh, I always remember that um, angry video game nerd said that the Jaguar CD just made it look like a toilet. He's right. Um, 
what are they saying here? These all look like kind of... Creature Shock looks okay. Brett Hall looks exactly like uh, Hall and Oates. Daryl Hall. Who hurt him? Someone hurt him bad. Um, what's his, his two songs in a row? Uh, you make my dreams come true? My world? I don't remember. Then the next song he does is She's a Man-Eater. It's like, oh my god. Someone hurt Daryl. Hurt him bad. We actually listen to those songs with uh, my son all the time. He loves Hall and & Oates. And he's only 19 months old. Soon to be 20 months old. The most powerful game system in the world just got 790 meg tune-up. What? No, don't buy that. I even remember the video game nerd couldn't get it to work either. Like, that's probably accurate even at the time. See what I'm saying about this blue color? All the Sega Genesis games have this weird blue color when you take a screenshot of them. No, maybe not this one. Mega Bomberman. Oh, here we go. Look at the blue. Are they doing this on purpose? This looks awful. Who wants to play that? That was one of the big differences between the Super Nintendo and the Sega, though. Super Nintendo could do uh, transparency, so you could have something be semi-invisible, uh, and the Sega Genesis couldn't do that, so they had to... You know, if they ever had to make a game for both, they'd have to... They'd have to make some uh, concessions. Rise of the Robots. I got a special treat for people later in this issue. Hintity hint hint. I never really got into this one either. King of the Ring, uh, what's it? They, why don't they say the name of the game anywhere? Am I missing this? Well, I guess right here. WWF Raw. It's like the Mortal Kombat wrestling game. Echo the Dolphin, Sega CD getting a full in graphics. I guess, you know, when you have CG like that, you're gonna, you're gonna turn some heads. Good soundtrack in those games. Uh, Eternal Champions on Sega CD. That was one that hurt. I wish, I wished I had a Sega CD mostly for this game. This one, and Shiny Force, Sega CD. That was almost it, though. I don't know if the Sega CD really had much else going for it. That's, uh, an entirely ignorant statement from a guy who didn't have one. Um, I think we're listening to Arrow the Acrobat now. Can we switch all the way down? I think we can... We did Arrow the Acrobat yesterday. We can probably... We can come up with something new. Guys, let's listen to... We're doing arcade games here, but we're still using the Sega Genesis chip. We're gonna be listening to Grindstormer. Hell yeah! Okay. This is one, uh, I realized I didn't have Sega CD capability on my machine right now, but I wanted to play this one. Soul Star. We'll have to do that another time. I don't know if it looks good, or... I don't know what I'm looking at here. You know? I don't, can't imagine being like, yeah, I want to play the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote game. Desert Demolition. Look, like he's got little rollerblades on. It was the 90s, you see. Iron Helix on Sega CD. Okay, I was going to say, is this Game Boy? What the hell are we doing here? Honestly. Why would you pick these screenshots? I guess they're trying to show, like, it's full motion, man. Full motion video. Top Gear 3000. Kind of looks like uh, that other racing game on Sega Genesis. I don't know if it's a Top Gear game. Outrun, like, 2019 or something. Lodestar. Sorry, that's the one I wanted to play, not Dark Seed. I wanted to play Lodestar, because it looks good graphics. I think it's just a... Uh, take the right path. Take the left path. And it's probably just an on-the-screen point-and-click shooter. Pretty cheesy, guys. They loved it, though. I mean, for all intents and purposes. I gotta sit higher. Slouching again. This too. I remember thinking, oh my god. You get to play as the Power Rangers in full motion video. This is the greatest thing that's ever existed. 
Well, we'll see another thing later in this issue. Into the hint hint. Not as good as it's cracked up to be. Okay. I never played this. Itchy and scratchy game. So do you play as scratchy or do you play as itchy? Just every level. Uh, itchy's trying to kill you. Kind of funny. Mass Rider. Man, it was just all about the full motion video back then. And they weren't calling it out. These magazines should have been calling it out. Like, yeah, okay, it's uh, it's good that they have full motion video, but the game aspect of it is worse than an Atari game. It's basically just saying go left, go right, push the button here, push the button there. Now you want to talk good gameplay, Cosmic Carnage. I don't. That's not an accurate statement. I did always want to play it though. I mean, that's. I say that a lot in this stream, but that's because when you when you only have a Sega Genesis and you have this magazine that keeps showing you other games that you couldn't possibly ever play. This was a good one. I remember renting this from a video store and um, there was a save state on it from like the end of the game. It's always fun to noodle around in some other guy's save. It seems like every issue has something about Doom in it. What is this? Doom 32X. We've played it. It's okay. It's a good game. Do they say anything about it? Looking for a good reason to buy a 32X? Why, okay, why would you play Doom on the 32X instead of the PC? Super Bonk. Yeah, I remember playing this in the mall. Not Super Bonk, but the uh, TurboGrafx-16 Bonk. I remember they had it set up in a mall one time. The fact that he could grow his head really big was, that was kind of a, a fresh feature. Super Venture Island. Tough game. Adventure Island 1, tough game. I don't I never played any of them after that. Might and Magic, never played it. What does it say here? Map your surroundings. On pen and paper, you mean? <laughs> that never occurred to me as a kid to draw the map of the game. But apparently a lot of kids did it. It never occurred to me. But you know another thing is that uh, no one no one I ever knew called the Nintendo Hotline. I never did. No one I ever know knew did. I don't think that was a thing we did in Canada. We didn't call the Nintendo Hotline, but maybe the Nintendo Hotline was telling kids you should draw a map. I don't know. I don't know. Zip it. Ignition factor. Player fighting video game. Kind of fun. That's the other thing, too. Uh, Super Nintendo. I'm not sure if it was because it could do transparency, but they had the Mode 7, and uh, because Mode 7 was a, uh, it let you, like Pilot Wings was all Mode 7, and the Sega Genesis couldn't do it, so there were some games that you just couldn't recreate on the Sega Genesis. I mean, they probably could do it, but it wouldn't play at proper speed. Oh yeah, I guess Showdown is SHO. Who knew? Yeah, way to show us the Neo Geo. Yo, you should get the Neo Geo, guy! I don't even, did they sell it at Toys R Us? I don't think so. Yep, I bought the 30 or the 3DO so that I could play Super Street Fighter. Not a big like I like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but um, they fiddled with Ken's Air Hurricane Kick. Like you couldn't just jump straight up in the air and then go across the screen if you did it. Like you have to jump and move, so there's like actual momentum. And uh, that ruins it for me because I like it's almost like a teleport for Ken. If you jump over someone and then do it really quickly, and you just move horizontally over their head and then drop behind them. So uh, yeah, Super Street Fighter 2 kind of fiddled with my uh, my guy. Ken's my main. This is Samurai Showdown one on 3DO. At least they were getting name games. I don't think the Jaguar was getting these. They say Demolition Man, five in graphics, five in sound, and it's just a full motion shooting game, from what I can tell. I wonder what that means. Like, I want. Okay, wait, did they actually get Wesley Snipe? That'd be kind of cool. Demolition Man's a fun one. That's a rewatch. I should watch that again. So you actually play as Stallone, and you play against Wesley Snipes. All right. If they pull it off, then that's kind of cool. 
since I was a Sega Genesis kid, never played any Donkey Kong Country, and I really, like, adamantly didn't enjoy it. Whenever I'd go to friends' houses that had Donkey Kong Country, like, they were all about it. And, like, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. it seems like the, the hitbox is all just kind of weird in the game. I never got this far. I only have to play the first levels over and over and over again. There were snow levels. I was unaware. That's like a full breakdown. It's funny. 3D graphics were just... You couldn't go wrong. If you could do 3D graphics, you were on board. What is this? 20 to 1. I probably rented this. I can't remember specifically. Oh. What do you know, everyone? It's a 3DO game. A 3DO game called Supreme Warrior that I was always super curious about because it looked to me like you were able to just walk around in real life. Like the movie Strange Days. Um... Of course, it's not that, and you wonder, can we close the loop now so we can finally see what it actually was? Well, that's surprise number two for you, everyone. We're going to figure it out. Um, we're going to play Supreme Warrior on the 3DO. I know I was planning to do 3DO as a separate stream, um, and we will still do that, but for right now, um, I want to... I want to just do this. Let's insert the CD. Yeah. Alright. This is it, everyone. This is the 3DO. The epitome of elegance and sophistication in the mid-90s of gaming. Supreme Warrior. Always wanted to know what this game was about. This looks like the beginning of Enter the Ninja. Like the same hill. Alright. This, this is doing it for me so far. It looks like a TV show, except it's all pixelated. But I swear, for those that are maybe too young or too old, who, who weren't the demographic for this at the time, you didn't see the pixels back then. It just looked real. It, it looked like that you were actually watching a, a TV show. Because you, you have to imagine, like, um, just blur your eyes a bit. That's the way TVs kind of made it look. When you actually have a digital representation of it, it's, you see every pixel. Sorry, I got a chocolate rain this thing. I got to lean away from the mic. Diet uh, frescas. Just regular fresca. Sorry, I don't usually watch the whole intro, but, you know. I just finished reading the magazine. The magazine told me... Oh no, something terrible's happening! It's like, whoa. I'm actually playing a real movie right now? They had to hire a lot of actors for this. Get some choreographers. Stuntmen. Voice actors. And they went for it. I, uh, I commend them for their... Commitment. Oh my god. Now what? Good, but not good enough. Oh! Hell yeah, lightning powers. <laughs> that looks an awful lot like... Uh... Bruce Leroy, what was that movie called? Dragon... My, my, my. Something Dragon. The Last Dragon. Kai. That's right. How you aged. And you, thank you. Ferocious as ever. Alright, let's... So. I don't... They're gonna do a whole TV show here. Your purpose. Bring back the half of the mask that Fantu stole. Fight the easiest first. 
and the hardest last, your chances will soar. Which will it be? Oh, I get to pick. Uh, I don't know which one's the easiest. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. English language training punch skill level apprentice chi meters. All right. Okay, here we go. Supreme warrior. Only to dig out from the grave and take revenge. The earth warlord holds court at this inn. He's the slowest, but beware the strongest of Fan 2's villains. Freaking Fan 2. All right, bring him out. Bring him out. I'm going to kick his butt. Give me the eyeball. Give me that rice bun. It's time to go. You! Have you come to drink? Or have you come for sport? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everyone's having a good time. Why do I want to come and break up this party? Think you're good enough to take on my guards? Try him! Show us your skill! <laughs> it's on! He spilled all his juice. Damn, it's a big boy. Holy Jesus. Hey. So, whenever you, uh, I played this for a split second just to make sure I could get it to work. Whenever you hit him, it just cuts to something. <laughs> so when you're reading the magazine, you think you've got like this. I don't know what those things on the screen are telling me to do. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tell Fan 2 to get get the F out of town. Remember your mission. What what was my mission? Oh, he kicked me. He kicked me good. No waste of move. Aim before you strike. Okay. Oh, so I have to block until it tells me. Okay. It's accurate. Oh, Jesus! In yourself. It's all going too fast. Did I punch him? Did I get him? Oh, he punched me in the face. He's palm striking me. All right, it's not going well for me. What's wrong? Have your skills abandoned you? Fight like a warrior. All right. All right. Well, I gave him the double punch. Look at these kicks. You, you can't make this up. All right, we found the secret. You defend against this fan too. I blocked it. Come on, give me a break. I can't handle this. All right, I'm out of. I think I'm out of chi power. I can't punch anymore. Stumble like a drunken rice pet. They just keep letting you go. Oh dear. I think I'm gonna get finished here. But my guards have just begun to teach you the art of fighting. Oh Jesus. 
Maybe, may, let me fight one of these random guys first. Fight the biggest guy in town. Everything. If you fail, we all fail. Oh, they're pissed at me. Angry now. Jesus. Alright, so I think we get the idea. Hey everyone. That's actually nice to close the book on that one. You look at this and you think, man, it gets a 5 in graphics, a 5 in sound. It must be the best graphics, best sounding game ever. Fun Factor 4. Like, I know I'm not playing it necessarily correctly, but it really is just like push left and punch here, push, you know, whatever here. We only got a sample of it, but you know. It's nice. It's nice to play. I don't mind. I don't mind that it's kind of crappy. I mean, I know it's it's fun to pile on and find fun to like just make fun of the 3DO, but it was actually they were trying something really hard there. The Jaguar you can make fun of, <laughs> not the 3DO. Zool, Zool 2 on the Jaguar. Like, look at this. This is not what you would expect a 64-bit console game to look like. Sonic the Hedgehog looks better than that. And these guys are saying 4.5 in graphics? What game are they playing? Sometimes Game Pro was a little iffy. That looks a little better graphics. Like, what does that get a, a 4.5 in graphics too? Man, Dragon, a Bruce Lee story. I haven't seen that in a while. Sumi Ninja, it was weird though. Like, itchy ear. You'd see all these Jaguar and 3DO games being advertised. And then when they would actually get rated, you'd see these low, low ratings, like two in sound. And I, I think I remember just not believing Game Pro. Like, no. The, they're way better than that. You just don't like the game, or you don't. I, I remember thinking, like, this has to be wrong. How could this not be the best looking fighting game of all time? Red Zone from last episode soundtrack. Bubsy, holy! They paraded Bubsy around. A four in graphics. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Flink. Dragon's Lair Two. Got a curvy lady here. All right. Mad Dog McCree on the CDI. Now that was the one that I played at the arcade. And always got killed in it. And it, I think it cost a whole dollar too. It was like a super expensive game in the early 90s. The sports page. In other words, skip. FIFA 3DO wins World Cup. That probably was pretty high tech for the time. Brett Hull Hockey. If I recall correctly, I believe Brett Hull Hockey just rips off the soundtrack for uh, Guile's theme. Let's confirm that right now. I'll have to give props to the shiz. I think Eric Dude or Mega Matt might have been the ones that brought this to light. Oh, there's two Brett Hull Hockey games. Jesus Christ. Red Hall Hockey 1. Alright, maybe it's Red Hall Hockey 2. Oh, okay. A Dokun! Red Hall. Son of Bobby Hall. I think it was Bobby Hall. Bob? Bob Hall? That sound right? Let's keep this going for now while we're listening. They seem to say it was a pretty good game. I don't necessarily know that Brett Hull was a big enough draw to have his own game. Daryl Hall hockey. <laughs> uh, how they directly compare... Uh, Newman Hass, Hase, IndyCar feature, featuring Nigel Mansell, back to back. And the Sega Genesis one is better. That's rare. 
Speed World races strong. ESPN. Yeah, I'm not going to test out another ESPN endgame that doesn't play when I hit the call it in the air button. Oh, Chavs. Chavez. You know what? I think I think we're going to have to do something silly here. I don't know when I'm ever going to get the chance to do this again, so let us play Chavez 2 because it's actually a pretty interesting game and pretty hilarious. Uh, yeah. Oh, perfect time. All right, guys. Let's put ourselves back in the world of uh, boxing south south of the border. I think Chavez was popular in Mexico. I don't... I think the whole game is in Spanish. Uh, I don't know the difference between Spanish and Portuguese. <laughs> Maybe it's in Portuguese. Maybe he's a Brazilian guy. But it's funny, the entire game, yeah, it's not in English. It's funny just that, I don't know if that was... Was that by design? Personia, start! So the reason I want to show you this game... Exhibition! Jugadores! The reason I want to play this is because Rodrigo here. <laughs> Rodrigo is such a champ. Watch how much damage Rodrigo can take. Okay. Foxio! Or is it Cuba? I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at here. They got Pizza Hut and Pepsi sponsors. Look at this. <laughs> His eye is already opening up. Oh, he's bringing it back. Rodrigo is not going down without a fight. <laughs> the crowd is loving this. Stop the fight! Oh, a couple uppercuts? Yeah, that'll... Oh, they love it. They're cheering for me as I'm murdering this man. Rodrigo is such a stud. He does not take any crap. He's gonna eat this. Eat every punch. Oh, I was trying to jab and he... Look at that. No. He's got fight. Fight for days. You think, okay, he's got to be dead after that. No, watch this. He gets right back up. <laughs> oh, Rodrigo is savage. Hold on. Let's go back. All right, Rodrigo. Oh, man, he's going to take some damage off me here. Just, I'm teeing off on him. <laughs> oh man, he's not done. He's not out. Okay, let's, let's get some body going here. He's like, man, my face hurts a lot. Protect the body. Let me mix it up. Oh, I'm coming at him from every angle. He can't tell. Freaking Rodrigo. I hope this is based off a real guy. I'd I'd watch Rigo, Rodrigo fight. He's gonna make it out of the first round. Can you believe that? Oh Jesus. Did we finish him? No. <laughs> Look at that smile on his face. He'll take the standing eight though. He's not he's not, you know, unreasonable. Come on, give him a couple more just for good measure. Let's end it with an uppercut. Yep. 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 Oh, one late hit too. Jeez, Chavez is kind of a dick. 
That's 192 golpes toridos. Wow, he had a higher percentage than me. <laughs> oh my, look at the ladies. That's a 7 to 10. Rodrigo has got to step it up. I'm not slowing down, Rodrigo. I'm only wobbling at you with even more resolve. We're just going for it now. Uppercut City. Where am I coming from? Where, stick and move. Is it a right uppercut? Is it a left uppercut? Right, left, right. All right, here we go. Hook, 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 hook. Hook to uppercut. Someone stop the fight. He is out on his feet. Oh no, he's still got fight. He's not he's not quitting. What are the punches now coming in the left speaker only? <laughs> His face has another level of damage to it now. <laughs> I can see why Chavez was so popular. Uh, Rodrigo, people should be cheering for Rodrigo. This guy is heart. Let's see if he gets up. Unbelievable. He doesn't even have an eyeball anymore. I'm not going to go easy on you, Rodrigo. Oh, he's, he's got fight. Heart of a lion. Don't you know who you're dealing with, though? I'm freaking Chavez. They made a game after me, not after you, Rodrigo. I am noticeably slower now, though. All right, let's work the body. Oh, man, he's coming alive. Jesus. Okay, was he going to make it to the third round? Because that'll be amazing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Unbelievable, folks. If I can get his left eye to, or his other eye to disappear. He is going to make it to the next round. I'm trying. Okay, I kind of want him to get to the next round now so I can get some more damage on his face. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I've slowed down. His accuracy is through the roof, though. Oh, oh they got a different lady here. In Evander Holyfield Real Deal Boxing, they actually did animate the breasts to bounce. That's a fun fact. Let me wobble out there after him. All right, Rodrigo. That eyeball's seen enough. Well, the crowd's liking it. I can't argue with that. And neither can Rodrigo. I mean, he better get a bonus after this. Something. Jab, 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 jab. Body, jab, body, jab. I mean, we keep this up. He's This is going to beat me through demoralizing me. Like, I can only eat your best shots so much before you're like, I don't... I got nothing else. If he gets up after this, the ref should just stop this fight at this point. <laughs> um, bad news, everyone. Uh, we killed Rodrigo. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I... KO. We did it. We kicked his butt.
Guys, that's Chavez too. That's uh, a delightful romp. They seem to think it was only a 3.5. You be the judge. I, uh, I got no problem with that game. Um, Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star 4, I believe this is what this is. They just call it Fantasy Star and a Millennium. It is actually Fantasy Star 4. This is another rental. This is some good stuff with cutscenes. Pretty original stuff. Uh, we're currently listening to Brett Hall Hockey 95. Snatcher. Again, look at that blue. Sega, just all blue all the time. Brandish was a weird game. See this? Like, it's top-down game. But when you hit left to turn left, you don't turn left. The entire screen rotates left, so you're always facing up. And I found it so disorientating. Or disorienting? I was disorientated. Disoriented? I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Oh, wait. Hey, guys. We gotta read the we gotta read the damn magazine to know what the hell we're doing. Uh, where were we? We were at uh, Chavez 2. I'm gonna go back and listen to some... Uh, Grindstorm, we were listening to before Brett Hull came up. Uh, Chavez 2, you be the judge. Okay, Fantasy Star 4, that's what I was talking about. Interesting thing with cutscenes here. Uh, if you notice these here. This is a game I rented once. Had a guy's game save right at the end. It's good, because I certainly didn't get very far. Here's Snatcher, here's the blues I was talking about. The baby blues. Very sensual. Um, brandish. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. If you zoom in and look at this, top-down view, hit left, your guy doesn't go left. The entire screen rotates, so you're always facing up. How weird is that? Not a normal thing to be doing. I should have known better. Um, okay, so more Final Fantasy III strategy guides here. That's Mortal Kombat 2. Mortal Monday, you guys remember those commercials? The Mortal Kombat 2 commercial, where they were all like in the desert and stuff. Getting pretty hyped. They were good at hyping. Yikes. That's a pretty stinky score for Star Trek Generations on Game Boy. The, uh, that's the one you want. Hey guys, guess what? Um, are you through playing crappy game? Because I'm not. We, ha we can't look at Rise of the Robots like five times now without eventually playing it. And what better way to check out Rise of the Robots than to play the Game Gear version, which is what we're going to do now. I know, that's a secret um, secret fourth episode. All right, let's load up... Uh, t -t 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 -t. Game Gear. This game was just advertised in everything. There was like a, a whole year straight where every I issue of GamePro advertised Rise of the Robots. So I think we're only uh, we're only human here. Let's skip all this. So let's play the definitive version, the Game Gear version. Press one or two. I don't. Oh Jesus! No, that thing kicked my butt when I was testing it. Uh. Let's try this one. Oh, I'm professional. Oh my god. That's a sign of things to come, guys. Oh lordy. Well, there's only two buttons here. And they do not give you a chance. Do I have a fireball? Good lord. That's it. They didn't even make it easy. They made it stupidly hard. Do 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 do. They start the match with me already getting attacked. All right, I'm I'm on board on this one. Prepare for next round. What is what is it that I can do here? It feels like every every inch of this enemy is a fist coming at me. Let's try one more match. I won't subject you guys to too much of this. Whoa. That's actually the best part of the game. You've landed in Electrocorp. 
Am, is this real? There's no way it was actually doing it that fast on the actual game here. Could it be? Alright, that's kind of interesting. And the same tone. Look how exciting it is. You look on my face. This is it. You just can't let him out of the corner. Guys, I'm gonna win one. You can't... You can't take this away from me. I've earned it. The robots will rise. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> okay. Oh, he came back with a vengeance. hit combo. Alright, you want a piece of me, you're gonna have to come into my flailing leg. Well, that's Rise of the Robots. <laughs> I'm glad we put that one to bed. Good lord. So, you guys just saw it. This is what they say that game was rated. Um, you want to pay 40 bucks for that? Um, in 95? I don't know. So they say... If you're looking for a good fighting game on Game Gear, you may want to keep looking... <laughs> okay. Rise of the Robots, sloppy control, and basic moves are a real letdown. Well, was it better on the PlayStation? I don't know. I checked out the Game Gear version. These were actually the two best parts of the game. Cool cinemas. Accurate. Um, Exo Squad. Those were some. Those were a hell of good toys, man. I don't. I didn't, I didn't have these ones specifically, but I had other ones that were super detailed. Um, stop playing. X Band. Which one was X Band? Was that the one where you could play two player games with your friends and stuff? Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's ahead of its time. Not something that was even tangible for me to check out. Burgality? What is this? What the hell are we looking at here? Um. What are the obstacles? Do? Um. It doesn't say what it is. What the hell are we looking at here? Alright, well, that's a thing. Oh man, they got a Chavez code? El Nue Nuevo Campron. Flawless uh, pronunciation. Fatal Fury, extra continues, anything cool here? Mario's missing. Give some butthead. Password to a uh, to Guar. Oh, okay. I wonder if there was actually Guar covered in that game. Kind of weird that they like Guar a lot. Way of the Warrior for 3DO. Oh, that's not the one I played. That's their fighting game. Um, uh, Pirates of Dark Water. <laughs> NBA Jam Codes. Clay Fighter. That was a big deal too. They really they made it look like Clay Fighter was gonna be just like the next big thing in fighting games. More 3DO Way of the Warrior. Plays the bosses. Who are the bosses? Raiden ripoff. Skeleton man. And a dinosaur. The game has some of the lamest character design ever. No, it's just some business guy. You know, some girl in a hat. Game enhancers, what do we got? Fun stuff here. More Earthworm Gym, Equinox, Total Carnage, More Combat 2, Infinite Time. Displays fatality every time. Now there's a code you want. A nice uh, little killer instinct breakdown. I think this is actually something I used because uh, I was able to do fatalities in the arcade. Felt pretty cool. Orchid, yeah, it's all your fighters. Page we on 144. Gold Star 3DO Interactive Multiplayer System. What is this thing? Jesus. Looks like a Transformer. 
Super Game Boy to Game Boy Adapter. Brings Game Boy Game Genie Cheats to your television screen through the Super Game Boy. It's actually hilarious. I would, I'd love to see that actually plugged in. Yeah, look at this. Good as Gold Star. So the, the thing about 3DO is it wasn't like Nintendo or Sega. It was just like a concept that companies could create themselves. So you had a bunch of different competing companies making their own 3DOs or something. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had my headphones on for too long. My jaw. Ah. I, I got the cure for that, guys. Fresca. Pretty warm now. Let's see if there's anything funny here. Oh, they talk about ruining their Sega Genesis version of NHL 95 on Sonic & Knuckles. Unlike other Genesis games, Sonic & Knuckles is packaged in a cheap cardboard instead of heavy-duty plastic. Uh, that cardboard won't protect the game from being dropped, chubbed, spilled on, or whatever. Why the change? Yeah, I'm actually curious because I did hate when they changed to those flimsy cardboard boxes. Sega spokesperson told us that the company worked with an environmental consultant to come up with new packaging guys yeah right environmental you know what you did you found out how to make a cheaper box that's all you did oh the plastic we're worried about the environment no 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 that plastic wasn't environmentally friendly thus the switch you may notice a similar change in hardware packaging cardboard replace yeah, yeah, yeah. oh maybe i don't know i'm not an expert mortal kombat 3 preview of hot new games Cyber Clash. Can't really tell what I'm looking at, but it looks kind of okay. Fatal Fury Special. Do we know about these games? They're not hot new games. Now that's hot new game. Dracula X. Incoming. This looks crazy. What is this? This no way this came out. You're an information technician in charge of delivering automated defense system to a distant security base. You install the system, and before you know what's what, incoming hostiles attack, stranded on the base. This sounds like a cool game. You have to hold off the attacking forces long enough to finish installing the system, because you gotta get paid. And then somehow escape. To save yourself, you can use droids, weapons, blah, 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 blah. Looks pretty cool. I don't think it came out. Because this looks too high-tech. This screenshot here just looks too fancy to me. No way that's a game. Eternal Champions, man. They had extra characters. They had this Pharaoh guy. I always wanted to play as him. And I wanted to see the level fatalities, but I never got to. Starblade. Oh, right, we're just blasting through this now, guys. It's been a long episode. See, you guys showed us Brutal last episode, and it was it was already crappy. We played it. It's bad. You can't just put another thing here. Yeah, but the 32X version is going to be the good one. Nah. Now, if you want to talk about a good game, here we go, everyone. Home Improvement for Super Nintendo. All right, goddammit. I didn't plan on this, guys, but uh, we're going to play Home Improvement Super Nintendo. Because I don't know when we're ever going to get the chance to again. And this is a weird game. Itchy nose. Uh, let's load up the... Yeah, okay. Home Improvement. Let's see if they did the theme song. Alright. So far, so good. ba do ba do ba do Alright. Let's dive in. Let's do a quick I don't I'm not doing a speed run or anything. They got the whole gang there. Al, today is a very special day here at Tool Time. The Binford Tool Company is honoring their favorite TV personality. Uh? Well, 
Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it, Ben, for support. <laughs> Not you, oh, Prince of Plaid. It's me, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. And how will uh, they be honoring you, oh, Master of Mistakes? Oh, my God. By adding my name to a new line of ultra power tools. <laughs> Everyone knows that real craftsmen don't need more power to him. Al, don't give me that new age philosophy. The modern man wants the same thing he did in the stone age. What is that, audience? <laughs> ah, yes. The lilting sounds of the ch catchy Binford jingle. Time to reveal the new Binford Taylor Turbo Power Tool line. Got his kids there? Remember Mark? What a little wuss. Al, the tool case is empty. Call security. Call the police. Call the National Guard. Now, Tim, calm down. The tools were probably misplaced. That's all. Richard Karn? Sure, Al. It's okay for you to be calm. The tool... Uh, don't have your name on him. Look, I found this note. Somehow. Backstage. If you ever want to see your precious tools. Again. Go back to the Stone Age where you belong. Whoa! It's a hate crime. Okay, Al. The joke's over. Where are the tools? Where are the tools, Al? Tim, honest, I did not take your tools. I wonder what the note means. Stone Age, huh? You know, we might try looking right here on the lot. There. Filming a dinosaur safari on Soundstage 3. Might be a good place to start. I don't think so, Tim. Look at him storm off. Look at Al smiling. He's definitely behind it. All right, let's go get our new tool. Uh, we will not play much of this game. <laughs> okay, we got a run button. Got a jump. I have limited ammo. I can do that for some reason. I, why is this? Oh, dear Lord. Sorry, boys. Your dad's dead. You got pranked to death by Al. Frickin' Al. Is a button? I pushed... How was I doing that drill move before? Alright. Jump, for God's sakes. There we go. Alright. How many bullets do I got? Infinite? Hell yeah. Uh, what's up with time limits in video games? Come on. Whoa, lordy. Al, Jesus, there's real pterodactyls in here. And big ants. There you go. Basically just like playing Contra. First, let me just collect all these golden bolts. Oh, no, Jesus. Not my big golden bolt. Oh, man. Jesus. All right, we're doing we're doing speed run tactics now. What do I God dang it. Uh, that's about all I want to play. Guys, this was not meant to be a home. Oh, sweet. He's got a custom animation. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Because you got to go get that box, Tim. All right, fine. I just jump and get this. I like that he's got a staple gun. Can I shoot it upwards. Guys, if you have to get your box to proceed, don't make it so you have to do this. 
Oh my lord. No wonder no one wanted to play this game. I don't even want to play this game, and I'm the one playing it. Okay, can I actually get on that ledge yet? All right. Now we're going to see some business. What's in the box? Oh lord. Okay, I'm not getting four more crates. Even with this fun idle animation. All right. So now we know, right? We had to know. We had to know because this issue is telling us this is what's coming up. Home improvement video game. Well, we know now. It's basically like time travel. This is a time travel podcast. Uh, in the archive, we'll say it's a podcast. Live, it's just one heck of a good time. As evidenced by this funky, fresh baseline from Brett Hall Hockey, 95. Nosferatu! Looks cool. Choplifter 3. Oh yeah, we'll show you all the Japanese RPG games that you'll never get to play. Oh, um. Wily Wars hit Sega Channel. Now that's crazy, right? We didn't get the cart here in the West. It was only on Sega Channel. And this is all we get. Leslie Nielsen with Jonathan Taylor Thomas weird crossover buddy film Is that it did we wrap it up everyone we wrapped it up hey everyone that was issue February February issue 1995 Game Pro magazine we played Weapon Lord, we played Home Improvement, the video game. We played 3DO's uh, Supreme Warrior. We played Rise of the Robots on Game Gear. We played all the bangers. We left no man behind. Um, Let's finish it with... Uh... There we go. With imitation brand Guile's theme. That's fun. Another issue. Flip, 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 flip. In the bag. Um, feel free to watch in the uh, archives, anyone. No one was really here for this one, but that's fine. Um, I'm basically just doing this for me, because then I have something to post. Uh, you know what I keep forgetting, though? Hey, everyone. I don't mention the soundtracks that I've worked on or my Twitter or anything like that, so please follow me on Twitter at... Uh, I know I should probably make a graphic for this, but uh, it's the world we live in. I don't even know my own dang Twitter handle. At Norn underscore rad22. Check it out. Um, and then go to my band camp or mattcreameraudio.com to find the links. To uh, Slayin' 2 and Shakedown Hawaii. Those are the latest soundtracks I did. They're both very fun. Very fun soundtracks. Uh, that's it for me. We've uh, wrapped up another issue. Thanks for watching, everyone. In the stream, most likely. Oh, Joofs. Sorry, man. I didn't see you were actually uh, commenting on Twitch. For some reason, I only, um... I only see, uh... YouTube chat for some reason right now. Uh, but yeah, PDFs. Um, I do actually have the copies. I own them at one point, but they're all gone. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Uh, but I had a subscription during this era, so these are very nostalgic issues for me. Alright, uh, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, or if you just like what you were seeing, uh, feel free to comment below, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it here. Um, uh, Jufs, that's Jufez, I don't know. Uh, comment below on YouTube, if you want. <laughs> or just put it in the chat. Uh, we're still building this empire of Nornrad Matt Kramer audio content, uh, one video at a time. Um, that's it for me, everyone. Let's do the right thing, slowly fade away. Right? How about we we go to the idle screen? Hey, thanks for watching. Good night, everyone.